Welcome back to the channel. Back with another banger for you, Yasersky. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, man. Shout out to Hollywood Unlocked, Jason Lee Show. Fire interview. <clears throat> Make sure y'all go like, comment, and subscribe up over there, man. Feel me? But we finna get into this ghetto content, man. We got my boy Wack. Shout out Wack 100. Oh. Yeah, man, he got a little interview over there, man. We gonna go through it, though. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Really? Start with 6 9 I was telling people 6 9 going to be a bigger artist. It didn't happen with T.I. When he get out. No, you're right. You're right. It did not happen with T.I. Right? But with Gunner. Gunner was not selling out the Barclays before he went. Right. And let me tell you what's so crazy and significant about that. Thugs Association... It's Sex, Money, Murder. That's a New York base founded in New York. Mm -hmm. The Barclays is in New York. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, no, nah, it might be a prop. Shit, you had all the street dudes in the Barclays. But why have people accepted? Rocking out to it. So I'm going to tell you when it comes to him as an artist, Gunner's winning. Right, right. He's winning. But why did he get to win and 6 ix 9 didn't? Is it the, is it, is it the culture? So basically... <clears throat> what Wax saying is that when six, cause six nine is Latin, when he's rat, they gonna make that the main topic. But when a black person rat, lies in Gunner, Gunner, <laughs> he rat it. So you know, man, you just gotta put, make it make sense, man. Basically, he's saying that six nine only got black ball for one reason. Gunner's rat. He's a rat. And What's your thing is it. 6 9 was Latin. I think they hated on 6 9 because he was Latin. 6 9 would have been black. They would have swept that shit under the rug like mm -hmm. they're doing all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of people being exposed and they really don't care. And, and, and times has changed. You know what? It's a good and bad thing. You know, it's great because to the youth, now you're seeing what I've been telling you, right? The rules aren't there. They're only there to benefit those who have the popularity vote and the say so. So we use it now because it's my favor. But okay, my homeboy told we're gonna look the other way. Don't go that way. Like gangbanging needs to cease. Stop. And I ain't gonna cap, man. Shout out Wack for spitting that them real facts out here though. I think that's why they be mad, man. I don't know. But no street man, no street person speaks on the type of level he speak on, so I feel like they be mad and stuff because he actually smart, so yeah, man. Shout out, bro. If you from a certain area, a certain neighborhood, protect your area, protect your parts, protect your family and loved ones. But the gang banging, you want to do something to this dude for this because he's from this gang and this, he wears this color, it's some beer need to stop. When you were 15 and you you caught an attempted murder case, right? Um, let's see, 12 years old, I caught a 245. That's all with a deadly weapon. That's when I shot the dude in the face with, with the, the pellet gun. Multiple right? times. And then I think, yeah, no, 13, 14, I, saw, I called a 245. But did you, were you, were you game banging then? Yeah, I was banged out. There. I was fucked so up. So you're where a lot of the young people are right now. Because there's people yeah, right now, they was, are locked into yeah, it. I was gone. What, what, because I never, I was I never was subscribed gone. to that, like my brothers were yeah. and all that, yeah, but I like, was gone. what is it that gets in the mind of a, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people can't admit to that, that, oh, feel me? That's a hard step to take in life, man. Transitioning. A lot of people don't make it. They do drugs and get, use alcohol or go to jail or die, man. So, gotta be strong to transition. Of a young person at that age that controls them to start subscribing to all these rules and cultures and this and just not giving a fuck. Well, back then it was like, you know, you hear this term of you get put on and jumped in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's true in some cases. Then you have some people that's born into it. Their family, their last name, you're born into it. So <clears throat> you have older brothers and he comes home and he stabbed and they say the dude across the street did it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or the house got shot up. The dude across the street did it. So basically, he's talking about uh, like all going beef, like a lot of beef. Right? 
and you see your older brother's battling or he's shot, the dudes across the street did it. You develop a hatred for the dudes across the street. Mm -hmm. You may be eight, nine years old, right? The minute you become of age and you're going to school and you have your first run in with the dudes across the street. I like that analogy. Right? Everything that you have went through or lived through your family prior to feeds that and then you react. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you then shot, stabbed, or hit a dude in the head. Now he goes home. Some internal beef. Something that most people don't realize. Who did that? The dude across the street. Mm -hmm. Now I got my first direct enemy. Because you got your enemies as far as the neighborhood. Haters. Then you got the ones that you're getting into it with. Mm -hmm. I saw one pop up on, uh, I swear to God, I was a little bit <coughs> on fucking Instagram or YouTube. And they said, Whack, did you see this? And dude was like, yo, man, I'm a little stupid loke from First Street Crip. And y'all be talking crazy about Whack, like who he ain't. He like, yo, <clears throat> the nigga tried to kill me three times. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this, and he gives a description of one of the times where we used some women to draw him out, and we tried to get him in front of the Americana, which is in Panorama City, right? Mm -hmm. And I remembered it, and I said, damn, I wonder if he has kids, right? What if I would have said a lot of people don't know what type of beefs they be starting because it get tricky once you got kids and stuff like that, so you messing up the next generation. So it just be an ongoing cycle. Would have been able to execute that internal beef. I might have lost my life doing life, then his life would have been gone. So I wasn't proud of it. And, and based on that, you know, I haven't seen Stupid, but um, I keep in contact with his homeboys. That was once my enemies from, you know, what it's supposed to be. Today, my friends are my friends. Um, my first enemy is myself mm -hmm. because in order for me to do something stupid, I'm the one I have to make the decision, right? Mm -hmm. So my first enemy is me. A lot of you dudes' heads ain't where that, that type of mindset a lot of these dudes don't have. Right? I got to fight me all the time because, you know, shit will pop up and it'd be like, all right, go do this, go do that. Then I got to remember I got this, 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 and that going on, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I think we don't like to check ourselves, right? We want to blame everybody else. Oh, it's because of this, because of this, because of this, because of this. But ultimately, you could have made another decision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You make your decisions. You make the choices. You can take advice. You can do whatever you want. But growing up, what I learned, the things that I didn't listen to, the people that was telling me the right thing that I didn't listen to, it came back, it bit me. And when I was sitting in jail or juvenile hall or whatever, I was thinking like, dang, I should have listened to bro. You feel me? So now that I'm older, like when I have a conversation with them peoples, like I always let them know that I appreciate them trying to give me that information. They didn't work on me, but I can give it to my kids at a younger age. So, um, I think it's going through things and seeing things and just being taught to hate the people across the street. That's a good analogy because even now back in Stockton with the gangs, it's- so Instead of teaching them to hate people, you teach them to just, you know, however you want to teach them, you feel me? But you can change the narrative. And that's my goal, man. Shout out to them dads and them mothers out there that's changing the narrative for their kids, man. You helping my, my kids' generation. It's literally across the street. It used to be like on the other side of town. So it was north side, east side, south side, west side. But now it's south, east, this block, this block, this block. So how can you eat? Like, it's the dude across the street. That's a great analogy. How do you unlock the minds of young people now? Because once you kill, like my brother died. Once you kill my brother, I'm not going to be able to forgive you. And look, you know, I'm glad you said that. Now watch this, right? And you know, my studio is open to pretty much the streets. I've never charged none of the youth to come through there. I don't force them to sign with me, none of that. But you come in my studio and you see gangs in there that's been beefing for four. See, people, <clears throat> people always talk about the bad, man. 
A lot of people don't even know that, man. This dude a real businessman. Man, he really got a studio that you can go to. <laughs> if you in, if you in LA, uh, the Valley, you could go, you know, so. Yeah, man, keep that in mind. 40, 50 years, here's the rules. When you come through those doors, there's no gang banging. You see a dude you got a direct problem with is gloves. Say, if you choose to put the gloves on, you have to go in the booth and do a song with him. Mm. If you don't want to do the song, cool. You just can't come back and use the free studio. So is, is that what the boxing we... <laughs> you feel me? You go make a song, you might go viral. It's a win-win situation because you safe and you might go viral and you ain't... You, you, you see on your Instagram? But yeah, though, man. You know, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I hope y'all like the video, man. Comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel.